Hi there. We're starting a new series on our YouTube channel called the Skills Every Mechanic Should Know. And uh, where this really came from was uh, after eight years of teaching and, and eight years prior to that of having a motorcycle shop, it, it just always amazed me that you have to teach and reteach things that you think, geez, you know, a mechanic should know this. And so being in a position of education, it's, it's been, a, been a hard look at myself. What am I doing to change this? I mean, what am I really doing? What, you know, what roadblocks do I have? What obstacles do I have to really firm up these things that every mechanic should know? There's just uh, skills out there that you shouldn't have to turn to a service manual. You shouldn't have to, you know, uh, open up a book, uh, watch a video to do the basic essential skills. And I think where our, our approach or where our problem is, and most people that don't understand how this technical education works, I want to paint a little picture for you so you know what a challenge this is because maybe some other instructors out there, maybe there's other coaches, educators, whatnot have feedback that would be beneficial for us. And so how we teach is we teach in blocks and I'll teach a, a technology for let's say 16 days typically. So you think about it in wheels, tires, brakes, electrical, engine, fuel systems, uh, performance tuning. I mean, you can pick any technology and it's in this block where we have this very small time or window to teach everything we can about that. And of course, when you start from day one, you think, oh, well, you got to teach the basics. You got to start on a solid foundation so that they can build upon that. But the, the curriculum goes really quick. So there's a lot of assumption that I do something on day one and they got it. And the problem that we run into is that due to the length of the course being a year to two years long, depending on which path they go, if they don't go to work, if they're not working on projects, so they don't dive in, you know, maybe because they have another job, they got kids, they got family, anything else. It's not that they don't want to, it's that it's not available. They might not practice that skill set again for, let's say, a year. I mean, take anything out there in the world you do and try and say, I'm going to do it one day and then I'm not going to do it for another year. I mean, it's a tough, it's a tough challenge. So we've really taken a look at the failures. And what's what's shocking is the failures are not about model specific information usually that oh I was working on a GSX-R1000 and I made this mistake or I was working on a Harley Davidson Ultra Classic or an Indy and a Victory. I, you could plug any name in there and it doesn't matter and that it was pro, you know product specific. It's almost always just human error revolved around being forgetful, overlooking, not using all the resources available, not using you know basic you know, uh, I don't want to say common sense, but use basic technical mechanical skill sets to be able to accomplish a task. Changing a tire, for example, it, it shouldn't matter what the brand is. I mean, it's, it's changing a tire. You got nuts and bolts. Everything out there is held together by nuts, bolts, welds, rivets. I mean, it's just shaped differently. How do we as educators, trainers, coaches, whatnot, change the fact that they we remove that roadblock of the oh, I, I don't know how to do this, and give them basic skill sets that they can go and they can duplicate over and over and over and over, not have to look up that basic stuff. And so we're attacking it. We're trying something different and being really vulnerable here to say that I think that most uh, technical training programs are doing it wrong. Nursing, carpentry, welding. I mean, you pick it. We're all fighting the same battle here. We're fighting the battle that we teach them something, and then they're uh, all of a sudden an expert because they did it once. And I just really think that we need a change. We need a change in education. So the, the path we're taking is going to be part of the series where we're going to take, we're identifying all these skills that we believe every mechanic should know. And what we're going to do is we're going to hone in on those. And instead of the assumption and instead of just doing them every day, because that's what's happening. When you're a mechanic, you're doing this stuff all the time, over and over and over and over. We're going to take and get the students to track the fact that they did this stuff. You know, proper tool usage, safety, it's, it's, it's taken for granted. Part storage, communication, work orders, um, proper installation, everything about that, we're going to take and do all that over and over and over. We're going to track that information to where they're going to be able to see that. Well, I didn't do it one time. I did it 50 times a semester, and they're going to put a real value to it. When they put that value to the fact that, wow, boy, I had to do this skill, this basic mechanical skill 50 or 100 times you know, over the course of the semester, class or whatnot, I think what's going to happen is we're going to raise the bar to where they're going to be bought out to it, to where, oh, this is really important. If I overlook this simple task, I might have failures that roll right through into these other areas. Because realistically, that's what happened. Guys, it's the simple stuff, guys and gals, 
uh, it's the simple stuff that's usually causing the problems. I forgot to tighten a drain bolt. Well, I got interrupted. I got to, got a phone call or somebody made me do something else. It's no one else's fault but you. If you left the drain bolt loose, you didn't fill the crankcase, it's on you. What are you doing so that you don't do that? We're all human. I want to make sure that nobody thinks that this is all about being perfect or that I'm sitting here going, I'm a, the perfect mechanic or the best in the world. Far from it. I learned from some of the best people out there, amazing mentors, amazing people that have taught me and passed things on, grateful for it. But I know one of the things that really makes me successful is I, I work from checklists, I work from procedures, and this video is not about that. This isn't how to fix it. This is just an introduction video to say, hey, pay attention. Watch what we're going to do here. We're going to show all these different skill sets that you should be able to know without having to grab a service manual. You shouldn't have to look it up. These are the things that should be the muscle memory. So with that in mind, we're going to approach it from a coaching point of view, from taking ideas from the um, sports fields and industries where they practice them over and over and over intently, not just because you think you're using a tool the right way, but we're thinking about that. How are we being intentional at what we're doing as we do things in that same process over and over because it's been proven successful. So pay attention to this video series. I think it's going to be pretty cool. We'll uh, keep you updated on what the student success is. And what I'm hoping happens in the future is when I go out and uh, check on these students or follow other mechanics, I hope I'm following a bunch of success. I hope that the repairs that we do in the future are the simple fact that things broke down, not because of uh, human error, not because something was left loose, not because we damaged it, not because somebody got hurt, but it's all because it just went to end of life, end of life of the service of that part or just mechanical failures and that we can really raise the bar and have a great quality uh, in what we're doing. Uh, stay tuned.